Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> You're going to hear Freedom Inc.'s voice in the background. And of course, Zombie Farmer has kept conversations we had with them for, you know, as record keeping. Maybe he's just par paranoid or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. He's paranoid. But, uh, um, <clears throat> anyways, so let's get down to it. All right. All right. That is just a little 30 second clip that I put together. Of course, I've got a whole slew of stuff that I've put together over and over and over again just to have. Yep, you heard him correctly. Yeah, for my records, because it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. And see, they have labeled me with Coda Boy. I guess that's his name. Uh, never even talked to the guy. Guns and Gadget. I'm sure a lot of people on here watch that. I've never talked to him either. And there's a whole bunch of other channels out there that they label me with. But they said that I am worse, worse than they are. And First of all, nobody labeled you as Cody Boy 32 Tactical or Guns and Gadgets or Mill Spec Mojo or my uh, Mr. Guns and Gears or whatever. You just spew out the same bullshit they do. I mean, it's it must be easy to say in front of a camera all the, you know, the politicians that they don't stop. It's going to be a civil war. It must be. It's easy to say that. No, that's the reason why you have people like me. Correct you, zombie farmer. It's not getting worse. That's just spewing a bunch of bullshit. Just like you're spewing a bunch of bullshit. Oh, it's going to be nuclear war, guys. World War Three. How about you, instead of saying it's going to be World War III, nuclear war, how about you prevent it? All that fear-mongering, and ex especially the anti-Russian sentiment, isn't helping matters. Just being honest. And I'm glad of that. I'm glad of that. Gator Aviation, man... I appreciate you being here since the beginning, but I just don't see that happening, especially with the governor in Florida in charge. It's just too, that one's too far radical for even me. If it's on his desk, I don't see that being passed at all. And I know a lot of people down in Florida, I just don't see it. Could be, could be wrong. I appreciate you being here, but that's, I mean, man, that's just the way I feel it. On. We'll find out if it passes or not, and we'll find out if it's actually on the desk here shortly, I guess. Um, so that's been going on. That's been going on. It's him and a couple more channels and, you know, the, the, basically they're flatlined. Channels like that, that are flatlined, cannot grow, will not grow. Uh, Regardless if I grow or don't grow, or f and in your words, flatlining, I'm still going to speak my mind. Regardless. Dude, you're one of those Republican voters who probably says, oh, vote for a Libertarian Party. A vote for the Libertarian Party is a vote for the Democratic Party. No. A vote for the Libertarian Party is a vote for the Libertarian Party. You're spewing out bullcrap. Pure and simple. Uh, it's a radical movement. It's a radical mindset that from what I even told them this, I even told them this in, in the community post and all that. And I've still got all that. I could read you some bad stuff and I'll be honest with you. All these things was being said in front of children and everything else. And I just don't want to even deal with it anymore because somebody actually sent me the freaking video. And I'm going to ask, uh, you know who you are that sent it? Please don't send me nothing else. I don't want to know about it. People can get on there and say anything they want to say, and that's totally fine with me. But it's 
then why do you keep on deleting comments? You know, why do you keep deleting people's comments when they disagree with you? Or when they disagree with, you know, you disagree with them? Why do you keep on deleting those people's comments? You say you're a patriot and all. This is basically what it boils down to. <clears throat> you say you're a freedom fighter. You say you're a warrior for Christ and all that. But really, you follow man's law. But you don't follow God's law. Hmm. You call yourself a patriot, but really, you're not. You try to censor other people. As far as this goes, a lot of questions was asked and kept being asked, and I'm not going to sit there and type out a bunch of garbage and put on there because it's not going to do no good. It's a waste of time. And I've said it many, many times. Do not break bread with people who want to destroy you. You don't do it. Zombie farmer, I think you're being paranoid. Yeah, you're paranoid. Mm -hmm. Paranoid, the paranoia at its worst, right there. You take the cake, honestly. You don't sit down at the kitchen table and have a meal. You don't break bread with them. You don't do anything with them. But I am going to clear some things up. Why? Yeah, you call yourself a Christian, but you know. Didn't Jesus Christ spend time with the prostitute? Hmm, you're not following God's law, aren't you? You're not. I, I have the opportunity. And then I will never, ever respond to any of this garbage and filth again. I will tell you this. If my life ends up getting threatened, or my family is threatened in any way, or if you come to any part, any part of my property and try to destroy what I have and destroy me, you will be met with force that you've never dealt with before. In <laughs> Again, you're paranoid, dude. What are you gonna do about the your subscribers Sending me death threats. Oh, that's right. You ain't going to do anything because you agree with those people. I mean, by all means, you have a right to defend yourself. But who? Who? Who threatened your life? It wasn't me. It wasn't Freedom Inc. It wasn't NG. And it certainly wasn't Dry Fire Faith. It wasn't Tech T.I. Who, who, what are you talking about? Who, who threatened your life? Again, you're being paranoid. In your life. And I will guarantee that. I will protect what's mine, what God gave me, as you put it, because God gave us all these rights, correct? And you say that I put man's law above God's law, and in the same breath, you don't even believe in the Bible. You say you believe in Christ, but not the Bible. That's that's about as stupid and retarded as I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, man. And see, this is where you're a hypocrite. You're contradicting yourself. The reason why you made my fist through your teeth edition is because you got sick and tired of people supposedly made, making fun of you, right? But yet, you're doing exactly that. You're making fun of those people who disagree with you. So you're a hypocrite. You're a contradicting hypocrite. And like I said before, zombie farmer, when push comes to shove, when the cops or whoever else, especially the feds, comes in numbers 10 20 30 people come on your doorstep on your property to confiscate your farms what are you going to do the odds are not st stacked in your favor there bub i guarantee you that i saw the comments i think you're referring to what i'm not going to say his name but 
so and so said that you don't follow God's law, but you follow man's law. Once again, you're just spewing out a bunch of bullshit. The book is the word. Christ is the word. They both go together. And I get it. Someone with y'all's mentality, and you know who I'm talking to, can't understand it because you don't have it inside of you. And the only way to have it is to seek it and to want it. But you can't live a corrupt lifestyle and get it. Sorry, it don't work that way. What are you talking about? What you just said makes no sense. See, this is the reason why religion causes a lot of wars. Am I, I'm a Norse pagan. Religion causes a lot of wars. And because of that, well, let's talk about the fact here. Let's talk about the truth here. There, zombie farmer. The Christians forced the Scandinavians to become Christians way back in the day. They raped and pillaged them. But of course, you don't want to talk about that because it doesn't fit your narrative. See, that's the thing right there. You conservatives and liberals, you, you don't want to talk about things that doesn't, you know, that, that goes against your narratives, your agendas. You're not open to open dialogue, to dialogue and all that. You're not open to it. You're not open to different ideas that makes you think outside the box. That's your problem. To be honest with you, you don't even want it. You just want to run down the ones who do. That's a fact. So, I'm going to try to remember, didn't write nothing down. Ain't no need to write nothing down. You said I was putting man's law above God's law. First question for you. What's God's law? I know you're watching. And I know you're going to replay this on your little channel. Probably one or two or three of you out there. You know your little channel you got going on. You get your little ten thumbs up and try to make something out of it. And, you know, you move from one state to another. And, you know, you got your own deal, got your own business going on. Why you're worried about somebody like me? I have no idea. But remember, you did it because you don't agree with my opinion. And yet, you try to censor people, you, zombie farmer, you try to censor people who don't agree with you. Dude, you're a hypocrite. You are. You placate to your masters. You keep on, you, you just keep on perpetuating the definition of insanity, where you do the same thing. You and every other liberal and uh, every other patriot. You all perpetuate the definition of insanity every time you do these peaceful protests. Oh, we're against, we're against uh, gun control. Oh, we're against gun rights. Oh, we're against racism and police brutality. But yet, it still happens. There's always going to be people who are against gun control, gun rights. There's always going to be cops brutally uh, brutally beating people up for no damn reason there's always going to be racism in the world mm. i know i know what i know who zombie farmer is talking about and uh you said he's zombie farmer said something about you know people just taking his videos and putting on their channels you do realize there's a law called the the fair use law where people can agree with you or disagree with you, critique you and all that. Yeah. Fair use law. I don't even care what your opinion is, but for some reason you don't agree with me. So let's get to it. What's God's law. Well, the only one that I think you should be worried about 
is to love God with all of your heart, your mind, your body and soul. That's the one that matters the most. See, I'm a New Testament believer. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't care if there's Old Testament believers, New Testament believers. I don't care if you're pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib. I don't care. Everybody has a right to believe what they want to believe. You speak as if what you say is the end game, is the end all know all. When you come on here and you attack my people, my folks and myself. So every time you throw an attack on me, you're throwing an attack on my family. You're throwing an attack on my folks on here. And we ain't going to put up with it. And that's just the way it is. So you can keep on running your mouth because everybody can run their mouth. That's part of the Constitution too, isn't it? Sir. Sir. <sighs> well, uh, let's address the problem here because <laughs> your, uh, your supporters are sending me death threats. The thing is, I don't have to call the police to take care of the problem. I could easily cut their stomachs and strangle them with their own intestines. Or I just cut their heads off or shoot them. You know, like you said, like everybody else said, I have a right to defend myself. Yeah, you have a right to defend yourself, zombie farmer. If anybody goes on your property personally, don't really care much about other people's properties. I don't. So let's address that problem right there because that problem right there because uh, your uh, supporters, your subscribers are s still sending me death threats because I said something that they don't agree with. It's like the pot calling the kettle black here. Ain't it? You ask questions all the time about what do I consider the Constitution? What do I think it is? Hmm. What do I think the Constitution is? The Constitution is a piece of paper with words written down. By who? By men. That's what it is. How you interpret it is up to you. How I use it for my channel is up to me. We got free speech, do we not? I mean, you believe freedom. <laughs> you believe it's all incorporated. But you speak freedom all the time. You, you want to take take it by force and have a lawless society. Oh, man, you are so wrong on that. You think it's all incorporated. No, <laughs> that's not what he means. You believe that uh, so-and-so's name, he believes that a lawless society is the way to go. That's not exactly what he said. See, you're misinterpreting what he said. You misconstru misconstrued what he said. And you wonder why people like me and several others take what you said before and pretty much call you for what you are. A plastic patriot. That's not an, a compliment. That's an insult. what you want. You don't believe in the enforcement of man-made laws. You don't believe in that. And who enforces those laws? Who should enforce those laws? Who, who should uh, enforce the Constitution? Who should enforce the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, all the amendments? Guess who should enforce the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. We the people. You're you totally misconstrued what he said. By like a thousand miles, dude. <laughs> That's fine. That's your problem. That's your business. And believe me, 
Nobody gives a crap. Nobody. So the Constitution. If, if nobody gives a crap as you claim that nobody gives a crap, like I said, why are you talking about it? If nobody cares, why talk about it? Dude, you're, you're contradict, contradicting yourself. It protects you from a tyrannical government. That's what the paper was intended to do. And that's where you're wrong. You think a restraining order is going to protect some woman from some man or some other woman? You think a restraining order is going to protect some woman or some anyone else? No. What kind of logic is that? You believe a piece of paper is going to protect someone's natural, natural rights? No. You just, oh my gosh, you really showed your true colors right here. You did. Now, how far down the rabbit hole have we gotten from what it was intended? A pretty long ways. Okay, what do we do about it? How do we fix it? Hmm, let's see. I ain't, I ain't keeping up with the chat, y'all. If y'all see something pop up, fix it. My, my blue wrench is out there. I can't even keep up with it right now. I know they're lurking. I know they're watching. And I'm glad they're here. I'm glad they're here because they can't handle not listening to me. And it makes me very, very excited. Well, honestly, there have been days I'd never really listen to you. Days I do, regardless. Uh, you're just, you're too high on yourself. Really, you are. Not only that, you're, you're paranoid. Yeah. You're egotistical, egomaniacal, delusional, self-centered. Yeah. Obnoxious, too, as well. So what do we do about it? How do we fix it? How do we fix it? Well, I don't know. Why don't you just tell me? How do we fix that problem? How do we? Let me guess. More, more suing, more protests, pro-2A rallies and all that. <laughs> more voting. <laughs> In a world... Right now, what's especially what's going on over there in Ukraine, the possibility, I'm going to say a possibility, like you think it's going to be a nuclear war. By the way, i got to say this. You know, you preach about prepping and all that in case shit hits the fan, right? Okay. Well, what happens if you don't have a fallout shelter. Huh? Get, guess what happens to your uh, food preps when it's when it's exposed to the to the nuclear fallout? It's contaminated, right? So all that money, the time, the money that you spent. To get that those food preps and all that just in case shtf happens waste of time if you don't have a fallout shelter but tell me you so how we how do we fix the problem okay how do we fix the problem hmm How do we? My idea is much more simpler. Instead of, how can I say this? Instead of, instead of suing and uh, let's see, protesting, we, the people, 
we keep the U.S. government government in check. Like I said to you, we failed, you and I included, have failed to keep the U.S. government in check. Or we can do another route. Some may say this is uh, extreme, but you know what? Like I said before, the, the contrary opinion that violence never solves anything is wishful thinking at its worst, and people who forget that always pays. Guess what's going to happen, zombie farmer? You think the ATF and the FBI and the cops, that your beloved cops, are going to come to your doorstep and say, give you all the respect in the world? And say, give me your firearms, and you say no, and they're just going to leave peacefully? No. 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 Uh-uh. If you don't give them their your firearms and these gun confiscation raids, and it's coming. They mean to take your firearms by force, zombie farmer. Do you not understand that? You think sleepy Joe Biden and the Democrats are going to come to your on, on your property to confiscate your firearms? You know, Democrats like Nancy Pelosi, AOC, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden? No. They're going to use the cops, the military, and the feds as their pawns to confiscate your firearms. Do you actually believe that you can fix anything without getting involved? Time and time again, I get told, I get ridiculed against about my job, the career I chose. Though there's an agenda, there's a plan, there's a reason, there's a course that I'm on that I'm trying to accomplish. But you don't know nothing. And I don't have to tell you. All you know is what's in this square box that I show you. You don't know my past. You don't know my future. You don't know my family. You don't know what I really believe in. You don't know nothing. You've got your criticism and your opinion of what you think I am. But by you doing this, by you acting the way you do, I can see what fruit you bear. That's a fact as well. I hope you have a good life. I hope you have a great family. I hope, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. But when it comes down to making threats toward me, you're making threats toward my family. You're making threats toward my people, the continuing name calling and trolling and the harassment and the. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so basically, when somebody disagrees with you, disagrees with you, you think that's harassment. You think that's a threat. Dude, you're just spouting off a bunch of bullshit. You're you talk shit, but then. You. You, pl you pull out the victim card. Your virtual signaling, your gaslighting and all that. Dude, you're, if anything, you're virtue, virtue signaling more than anything else. Oh, these people are making fun of me, be me because they disagree with me. Oh, well, tough shit. People disagree with me all the time. I really don't give a fuck. Who, who threatened you? I want to know that because... That community tabs, I saw it, and nobody threatened you. Stalking, and all of this stuff builds up, and you think, you think for a split second that I'm going to have a conversation with you? No. No. This is as close as it's going to get. Because you've already threatened my well-being. I don't break bread with demons. I don't break bread with warlocks and witches. 
And let me tell you something. Do you think you're going to change anything by trying to build up your community on YouTube, on Patreon, Instagram if you got it, Facebook? No. No, it's a sad fact you're not. And the only thing you are doing is exposing not the truth, but what you really are. You see, we can have normal conversation. And this channel is all about people of like mind being in one spot. That's what this No, your channel's about communism and you don't even realize it. You really don't. And if you actually deny it, then it must be all about fascism and you don't even realize it. Who threatened you? You talk about, you know, oh, well, what have you done? You know, that that's the same worn out bullshit that everybody said to me before. You have a community full of wannabe uh, patriots who are nothing more than patriots who don't have the balls to go the distance. That's right. Go the distance. They don't have the balls to go the distance to lay down their lives for rights and freedoms but then they turn around and they say oh i got to fight for my rights and freedoms but they don't say everyone's freedoms and rights see zombie farmer you're one of those people in the 90s percent of the patriots self-proclaimed patriots and self-proclaimed uh freedom fighters who don't know what true freedom actually is you don't know it You are being taxed. You are not free from force, extortion. You are not free from... Dude, you, you have to basically ask for permission to conceal carry, to get a permit, to ask permission to be armed by signing the 4473 forms. Oh, man. Jeez, man, it's just <laughs> once again, what are you going to do about your subscribers threatening my life? Hmm? This channel is about that bothers y'all, apparently. So, back to what you're going to do about it and how you're going to fix it. Going to fix it by going to the woods and setting you up a nice little place to live off the grid take care of you and your own good life to live commend you for it if you do it hope you succeed not going to change anything yeah and uh you think relying on gun rights organizations like the gun Owners of america virginia citizens defense league the fpc the nat uh the nra is going to change things you think a simple lawsuit is going to change things you think the supreme court hearing a two-way case is going to change things no the courts is where our rights have been compromised the most you think protesting, peacefully protesting is going to change things? You think January 6th changed, changed things? No, it didn't. Mm -mm. You think prepping for World War III is going to change things? No, the simple fact is humans, all they know is violence. Pure and simple that is the simple fact you're a big fan of the, of the truth right you're a big fan of facts right well the simple fact is human beings all they know is violence since day one and i seriously doubt things will change in the near future I will say this, 
with social media and all that, it has desensitized people. You're not going to change anything in politics unless you're in politics. I'm just speaking the truth, folks. Uh, once again, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Didn't you back out of the race to, you know, be whatever you wanted to be in office for? So, really, you're a hypocrite. You're contradicting yourself. And basically, not only that, you're delusional, you're egotistical, you're egomaniacal, you're <laughs> basically paranoid. You said to people, oh, are you ready for what's, are you ready to live off the land in case uh, SHTF happens? No, you, zombie farmer, you ain't going to do shit. If civil war happens tomorrow, you ain't going to do shit. You're going to run for the hills, run for the mountains, because you believe you got to pick and choose your battles wisely. That's what you believe. I've been hearing that bullshit for the past four years. Oh, Red, you got to pick and choose your battles wisely. Oh, fuck off. I'd say fighting for your rights and freedoms, everyone's rights and freedoms, is well worth it. You all sit around and say, For my cold, dead hands, that you rather die on your feet. Well, practice what you preach simple it's just that simple you're not going to change the police state unless you're in it not oh my gosh you are a freaking oh my gosh you ain't you realize what you just said makes no sense you ain't going to change the police state unless you're in it well, with that, that comes with criticisms because people are going to say, oh, well, since you're in the police state, you're all for the police state idea. Statism, you know, tribalism, factionalism and all that kind of stuff. Why risk that? You know, there's a lot of cops out there who have this idea. That they want to help their communities and all that. Help his or her community. Be a good cop, right? But when the chips are down, when it's time to get to the nitty gritty. When something happens that changes their lives forever. That's when we know. That person knows. What he or she is made of. That person who's a cop could be corrupt, could be in between, a burnt out cop who just clearly doesn't care. Or that cop might be a so-called good cop, good cop as some people like you would say, but then they're put on blast and fired for being a good cop, for stopping another bad cop for doing something stupid. Think before you say something, especially when you go around and say, oh, it's going to be civil war. Oh, it's going to be nuclear war, guys. It's going to be nuclear war. Think about what you're think. Think before you speak. It's not going to happen. You're not going to change any of it unless you actively are involved in your community. Those are facts. That is truth. And it's a fact that the defund police, even those, even though those people actually did something, whether you agree with them or not, it still didn't change things. People have been protesting against racism since... I don't know, especially well over in the 1960s, the civil rights movement. 
And yet, racism still occurs in this country, all over the world. My gosh, dude. My gosh. And just because somebody is involved, does it mean that they're corrupt? A lot of people are forgetting that. You don't know the countless hours and sleepless nights and waking up at the same time every morning in the sweats for the things that I've seen. I don't know what you're talking about. But if you're saying you signed up to be in the freaking military, you signed up to be a cop, dude, face the facts, you signed up to be in the freaking military. You signed up to be a cop. Simple. It's a simple truth. Stop going around with your condescending attitude. Oh, oh, you respect me. Respect me because I was in the military because I'm a cop. Blah, 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 blah. No. Nobody has to respect you because you you were a cop or you're a cop or because you're in the military. You were in the military. No. You chose to sign up for whatever you, that you did in your life. I don't care what it was. I don't care. Like I said, you chose to sign up for whatever you chose to sign up for. Pure and simple. For what I've witnessed. You don't know and you never will. And you don't know the struggle. All you know is the videos you watch you don't like. So you want to hurt people because of it. What a mentality. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The person didn't say that. No, oh, you want to hurt people? No, that's just you spouting off a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of lies. What is it that you're about to say? What a mentality. What a mentality. And yet, you have this pacifist mentality that you think you 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 believe that change you want to live a peaceful life in submission hmm what a mentality to have and now you can go through the freedom of speech freedom of religion believe what you want you can it's the american way there's nobody knocking down my door to take my guns right now. There's nobody. If you want to be honest, before I made the career change and did the things that I did, there was probably only, only a handful of times, maybe two or three times, that I even associated with any kind of sheriff, deputy, police officer. You know why? Because I, I had an accident, a wreck. I mean, I've never heard of it around through here. Nobody had any dealings with anybody around here. You know why? Because we're still free out here. And Dude, you're not getting it. You're, you're, you're still not getting it. You still don't get it. You really don't. If we're, if we're free, as you claim that we are, that you claim that we, we are free, you claim that we have freedom and all that. At the same time, you claim to be a freedom fighter. Then explain this to me. Why do we still have to ask the government permission to get permits to add on to our own properties? Why do we have to still ask the government permission to be armed? Ask permission to get permits to conceal carry? Why do we continue to pay taxes hmm? should we have the choice where our tax money goes to or not pay taxes at all I mean you strike me as one of those taxation without representation as theft types type of people but really you're not up to snuff And just because it's not free where you're from or your past or anything like that doesn't mean it's the same everywhere you go. 
the only way to keep it free and to keep it as peaceful, because that's what police officers are supposed to be, is peace officers to keep the peace. That's what it was intended on. I mean, this thing started way back in England, folks. They oh, here we go with the England talks. Well, uh, you do realize that those people who came from England, the American Revolutionary War, they were English law enforcers. And guess what the Patriots did back in those those old days? They kicked the English lawmaker uh, law enforcers' asses. Possibly kicked the English lawmakers' asses too. And you think the cops do a pretty good job of keeping the peace? Ha ha ha! What a joke. What happens, let's say, it doesn't matter if it's a nuclear strike or if some cop shoots another person, an innocent person, let's say, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That affects the whole nation. A cop violates one person's rights. One of one of that one of that person's rights. One person's rights, right? That's a violation of everyone's rights. You don't have that mentality there, Bucko. They used to call it, the, the sheriff used to be the tax collector back in England. They used to call him the Shire Reef, and I don't even know what year it was now. But you know, that's that's stuff from way back, way back. Do you know that the sheriff has the most authority in the land? Do you know that? Do you know that the sheriff can choose what he enforces and what he doesn't enforce? And see, that's the one thing I question about sheriff uh, sheriffs. That you're right about that. They can pick and choose what laws they can enforce or not enforce. But with that much power, what those people do with that power, now that's what something that's something that interests me. What they do on their off time that doesn't interest me. But when somebody, especially a politician that has power, what they do with that power interests me. You said it. This is a constitutional republic. Emphasis on republic. Therefore, everything is a public matter. Therefore, I have every right to know the sheriff's deputies' badge numbers and their names that work in the county that I live in. It's just, it is what it is. Do you know that? And so you believe by the venom you spew. Oh, that's a, that's a bunch of bullshit. You're spewing venom yourself there, zombie farmer. Uh, Jesus Christ, my king, said, police officers are Freemasons and fraternal order of police. That right there is truth. Police officers are Freemasons. Take a look what happened to the ex-officer from SeaTac, Greg Anderson, spoke out against the Draconian, sorry, Draconian orders and the whole COVID-19 lockdowns, right? Guys, knees. Nope. He spoke out against the draconian orders of cops closing down people's businesses and all that, violating people's rights. He said the truth. Jesus, my, my, uh, Jesus Christ, my King, spoke the truth. Police officers are Freemasons. And the hatred toward me and the people like me that were all bad because of where we work, 
I've worked in jails. I've been in prisons. Okay. You're just straight up lying because the person in question corrected me before because I put in the title of my video that perception is reality and he came he re, he commented on that video and he said perception is not reality so how is that guy spewing a bunch of hate zombie farmer answer that answer that question you probably won't you probably won't answer that question how is that person bad for correcting me when I said that perception is reality but in some cases Guess what? Perception definitely is reality. I still stand by my opinion. When someone says that perception is not reality after I said that perception is reality, that's not a bad person. That's a good person. Who stands his ground. And like I said, you ain't going to stand your ground when she shtf happens you ain't gonna do it you're gonna run for the hills you're gonna run for the mountains you're probably you ain't gonna do shit in case world war three hat starts so it is what it is oh man maybe i'll go for another four minutes or six minutes i've seen what that lifestyle is like i've even got friends that is not even allowed to own firearms for stupid decisions that they made in their life. That's what it is. You know, it doesn't matter about the rest of the Constitution. It doesn't matter about you don't have the right to speak at all or protection against illegal searches and seizures and uh, right to a speedy trial, right to a jury. Uh, everyone can vote. You can go down the list of what it is. It ain't got nothing to do with that. I think the thorn, I think the main thorn to the whole thing is that you can't own firearms. Oh my gosh. And you believe that the government, because someone someone committed a, committed a crime, you believe that the government can take away that person's rights. See, you're proving that person's point, zombie farmer. Hmm. You just did. That's why you spill your venom from all of those firearm channels. Says the guy who's spewing a, a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of venom. And somehow I just got put on the top of them, which is cool. I like it. I like being on top. <laughs> Hence why I called you egotistical, egomaniacal, delusional. So, and yet, you uh, get on the, get on people for disagreeing with you. You think people disagreeing with you, they're making fun of you. Hmm. So sad. But you say nothing about the, you know, once again, I said this about heavy-duty country. You say nothing about the cops who arrest the liberals wreaking havoc in the streets. But all day long, you get on the liberals' cases for wreaking havoc on the streets, but not the cops. You don't get on the cops' cases for not arresting those people, for inciting violence. But yet, you want to sit there and say to this person, Oh, well, you want a lawless society. You want chaos, anarchy, and all that. The... You misinterpreted what that person said. Because nobody does speak like I speak. And I truly, truly am blessed to have these people right here that's watching this video right now. You're going to get more fame right now than you ever have. From the channel you hate the most. We're not going to put up with the nonsense. We're not going to put up with people. You know what? The trolls will go. The trolls will build you. And you'll have a network of trolls that you've got. And that's fine. It's totally fine. But this channel is about my opinion. And this is how this, this is going to stay.
This is going to stay a community of like-minded individuals that is preparing for an SHTF event that could happen. Every video I do is for preparing for the day to where there is lawless society. And that society is what you're wanting, my friend. That's what, that's what you want. Oh, man. Again, you're spewing a bunch of bullshit. You are. You did. You continue to spew a bunch of bullshit. You're lying. You're paranoid. You're delusional. You're egotistical. You go, you're egomaniacal. Yeah. You seem too proud of yourself. Too high on yourself. Yeah. You're arrogant. You know... Your arrogance, your complacency, you being patient, is the gun owner's downfall. Mm -hmm. You placating to your masters and these peaceful protests will also be the gun owner's downfall as well. Perpetuating the definition of insanity, where you do the same things over and over again, expecting a different result each time, will also be your downfall. Will also be the gun owner's downfall. Probably, since the liberals, who also perpetuate the definition of insanity over and over again, that's going to be their downfall as well. The liberals. <laughs> wow. Just wow, dude.